Scandia Caswick is suffering from a poor summer weather we've been having this year, and today the sailors were again greeted by rain. The wind was lighter though, and from the south as the first fleets were sent on their way. The eight Open 60s sailing in the Artemis Challenge were sent off first on the outer line on their race around the island. All the fleets started at the inner end and headed off on a fetch down the Solent. All but Pindar 1 and the Old Spirit of Weymouth will be competing in the Vendée Globe starting in November and it's the first time the British skippers have lined up together. The fiercest battle off the line was between Hugo Boss and BT and this continued most of the way down the Solent. Brian Thompson's new Pindar started to leeward of the rest of the fleet and soon showed at the front, along with Mike Golding's Ecova 3, which was closer to the island shore. In last year's Artemis Challenge, Pindar was dismasted soon after rounding the needles when sailed by Mike Sanderson, who was on board with Thompson for this race. BT is the offshore Challenger's Open 60 which will be campaigned in the Vendée Globe by Seb Joss. It raced in the Barcelona World Race as Estrella Dam. Hugo Boss is Alex Thompson's boat and he was sailing today with his family friend and television presenter Davina McCall. Dee Kafari was sailing with Samantha Davies and also had Olympic gold decathlon medalist Dean Macy on board of Eva. Johnny Malburn was racing his new Artemis II, which has been dogged by delays in his attempt to get ready for November's big race. Among his crew was England rugby star James Haskell. Also racing was the old Artemis 1 being sailed by Simon Clay, with ex-spinmeister Alistair Campbell along for the ride. As the boats headed west down the Solent, it was Pindar which was showing the best pace and pulling out a small lead over Mike Golding's Ecova 3, with BT and Hugo Boss having a good battle for third. Aviva was next, but the new Artemis II was being led by the old Artemis I, while Spirit of Weymouth brought up the rear. By the finish, 50 miles later, it was Brian Thompson's Pindar which had opened up a five minute lead over BT. Pindar finished in 4 hours and 14 minutes, which was close to the 4 hour, 8 minute record set by the 100 foot Leopard in June. In third place was Mike Golding in Ecova 3 with Hugo Boss coming home fourth. Artemis 1 beat the new Artemis 2 around the course by over five minutes, which wasn't the result that Johnny Malburn would have expected. The sailors were racing for a £10,000 prize for the charity of their choice, and Earthwatch were the beneficiaries nominated by winner Brian Thompson. The next time we'll see these boats together will be at the start of the Vendée Globe and we'll be there with our cameras to bring you the stories from all the British skippers. Back with the regular Caswick racing, we caught up with Class 1 as they headed east off the squadron line in the 10 knot southerly. Today's winner was Richard Rankin's 12 metre Universal Marina, which won by over three minutes on corrected time from Mona, with Nick and Annie Hayes' DK46 dark and steamy in third. Poppy of Portland was fourth, and is leading the series overall at the halfway point. Class 2 is a competitive fleet with 34 entries. The series leader going into this race was Premier Flair, but they got caught OCS today, along with towing the water. 
After a 24 and a half mile race, Erivale 3 led the fleet home in just under three and a half hours, but they dropped to fourth on handicap. Today's winner was Rodolphe Marchese's J122 Jolly Joker, with Rudy Florido's Sydney 39 Allard in second. TKZ's own Stephen Heppel is racing his IMX 40 Cracker this week, and he had a dead heat on corrected time for 10th place today, with Fiona and Malcolm Thorpe's J133 King Louis, who were having a fight with their asymmetric when we caught up with them. Jeff West's Reflex 38 Lightning Reflex had a coming together with Alpha Boy at the start of Class 3's race as the tide helped the fleet to be east. Tontin missed the boy entirely and almost took us out in the process, but they did go back to re-round it. Like the IRC classes ahead of them, Class 3 sailed a 24 and a half mile course in the eastern Solent. Their first mark was Burgess Salmon, and as the wind began to veer, some of the fleet started to hoist kites on the shy reach. Peter Schollfield's Hod 35 Sea Track took the honours today to add to their impressive record of a first and two seconds. Sea Track won by two and a half minutes after a three and a half hour race from the J39 Sleeper, with John Howell's Dela 36 Alaris coming home third despite getting into a windward lured pickle with a tail ender in the 1720 fleet, Rogan Josh. The J80s have 23 boats racing this week and this fleet has been dominated by Liz Savage's Savage Sailing Team who won again today to make it four in a row. Against Malaria.com had another second to keep them second overall, while the rest of the fleet are fighting for the third place on the podium. Join us tomorrow for more action from the last Scandia Cows Week as we move into the second half of the regatta.